there's a play called The Cocktail Party, and one of the characters in it explains this to her psychiatrist. She says she hopes that all her suffering is her own fault. And the psychiatrist is taken aback. He asks why? Why would you want all your suffering to be your fault? What a burden to bear. She's thought long and hard about this, and she says she has come to the following conclusion. If it's her fault, if all her suffering is her fault, she might be able to do something about it. If it's God's fault, however, if it's the universe's fault, if it's her fault, if it's your fault, if it's his fault, if it's my family's fault, if it's, if it's my school's fault, if it's the police officer's fault, if it's anybody else's fault, if reality is flawed, hell-bent on ensuring her misery, your misery, then you are doomed. And so is she. And you can't change the structure of reality itself, of the universe itself, and more than often not of other people. But maybe you can change your own life. In fact, I believe you can. In fact, you can. It's done every day. And so that you give yourself the power for change. To get yourself out of suffering. By assuming all responsibility. I wholeheartedly believe this. It's, it's really accepting everything is my fault. Everything is my fault. And this is like, what do you mean everything's your fault? It can't be your fault. I have to. I have to accept everything is my fault. Because I can only change myself. Yeah, I can help maybe craft or inspire or mold other people slightly here and there. But really it is up to them and really it is a result of them. So I can't rely on something out of my control. But I can rely on something in my control and that's me. So I give myself the power and the autonomy and that is enriching. That is powerful to me. That is where growth, the foundation of growth is.